This is also coming out of the Capitol tonight. There are new calls to crack down on a controversial practice that allows police to take your cash and your property even if you're not charged with a crime. Investigative reporter Eric Rasmussen's coverage of this issue helped push the reforms two years ago. And now, Eric, some lawmakers say there's more that needs to be done here. Lindsay Paul, it's called civil forfeiture, but a new bill would require law enforcement to wait for someone to be convicted in criminal court before they could permanently take their property in most cases. That's exactly what advocates have been demanding for years. Back in 2020, we told you how Minnesota earned a grade of D from the nonprofit Institute for Justice. That was for allowing police to take and keep more than $160 million in cash, cars, and other property over the last 20 years, even when the owners were weren't ultimately convicted of a crime. Now, after we started exposing the real life impacts, lawmakers passed new restrictions on forfeiture in 2021. But in just the last hour or so, a committee heard testimony on a new bill from DFL Senator Ron Latz that in most cases would eliminate the need for people to go through a separate civil case and hire a separate attorney just to fight the seizure of their property. This is not the process that Minnesotans are due, that they deserve. SF-4625 will situate forfeiture where it should be, the criminal system, where people have access to counsel, the right to a prompt hearing, and will not have to pay exorbitant fees to retrieve their property. I can tell you that bill passed out of committee tonight and will now head to the Senate floor. In the past, the Minnesota Chiefs of Police Association opposed similar reforms. We've reached out for comment about this new bill. We're still waiting for a response. Of course, we'll continue to follow up. Okay, Eric, thank you.